Qatar Housing Market features prices and impact of the World Cup. Together with experts, we understand what the residential real estate market of Qatar is, how the World Cup affected it, how to buy an apartment and get a residence permit. The FIFA World Cup has given a powerful impetus to the development of the residential real estate market in Qatar. One of the main events in the fall of 2018, the Emir of Qatar Tamim bin Hamad Al Thani signed a law according to which foreign investors are allowed to invest in real estate. These measures were aimed at stimulating the economy and the real estate market. Large-scale construction on the eve of the World Cup has led to a large number of options for buyers. The American consulting company Front Office Sports estimated the cost of organizing and holding the championship at $220 billion. The head of the organizing committee of the tournament, Hassan al Tawadi, called about the same amount. Such large-scale changes have made the real estate market more attractive. A large number of fans from all over the world came to Qatar. They were able to see with their own eyes all the advantages of the country, its capabilities. Many of them will probably want to become property owners in Qatar. What investments give the right to a residence permit and permanent residence? $200,000 you can get a golden visa and then a residence permit. $1 million you can get the right to permanent residence and access the health and education system. Where a foreigner can buy real estate in Qatar? Qatar's residential real estate market is segmented into four main types. These are apartments, condominiums, villas, and land houses. And almost the entire volume of supply is concentrated in the cities of Doha, Al Wakra, Al Rayyan, and Lusail. Foreigners are not allowed to buy real estate everywhere. There is a list of cities and districts where you can buy houses in full ownership, freehold. Doha City, Districts Pearl of Qatar, Al Qasar, Al Dafna, Anaiza, Talib, and Jebel. Al Rayyan City. Rawadat Al Jahania District, Losail City, the resort town of Al Khor. House prices in Qatar. According to the head of the Qatari company Just Real Estate, Nasser Al Ansari, the last two years the demand for real estate in Qatar has been steadily growing, and at the beginning of 2022 there was a sharp jump in interest in this market, which led to an increase in prices. According to the Qatari company Ideal Home Real Estate, in 2020-2022, prices for local real estate increased by 20%. There are no property taxes in Qatar. The zones allowed for purchase by foreigners are attractive for investment. The profitability of residential real estate in the whole country reaches 5-7% per annum. What was built in Qatar before the World Cup? On the eve of the World Cup in Qatar, large-scale projects were implemented to develop infrastructure, the hotel, and residential sector. Three metro lines were built in Doha, a new highway with a total length of 800 kilometers, as well as a unique and modern Hamad airport in the form of an oasis. But one of the most important events is the construction of the city of Lusail, which cost $45 billion. It was the decision to start large-scale construction in 2005 that caused the first serious changes in the local real estate market. Already before the start of its construction, it was announced that the city would allow the sale of real estate to foreigners, say the editor-in-chief for real estate search service, Philip Berezin. The area of Lusail is 35 square kilometers, about 25,000 residential buildings and 22 hotels have been erected in the city. Four bulk islands have appeared in the city limits, and the total length of the embankment reaches 28 kilometers. Residential and office areas, an island resort, many expensive boutiques, shopping malls, entertainment venues, a golf course, and even an entertainment quarter where there are houses with apartments, as well as 11 hotels, several theme parks, nightclubs, and shopping centers have been built in the city. Other major projects for the 2022 World Cup Metro in Doha – $36 billion Airport costs – $15.5 billion Football stadiums – $10 billion New port – $7.4 billion Reconstruction of the Doha Center – $4.5 billion Economic zones – $3.2 billion